Welcome to The Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is another adventure with the Cobblenauts. Um, you might not recognize me uh, from what I'm looking at right now with my really weird sword, shield, and armor. You might recognize me by the fairy wings, though. But anyway, um, I, <laughs> I have a new set of armor here. Uh, I took all the wither uh, stuff, which basically just a bunch of ribs of the wither, enchanted it. It gives you strength, absorption, resistance, fire resistance. I've got a lot of enchants on here and mending and stuff and oh it's just ridiculous my my shield is pretty much uh maxed out with spiky and uh well it's using some supremium uh yeah as well as my sword is really good too plus it's got some smite on there just for killing undead a little bit quicker things die much faster with me blocking than me actually swinging my sword which is funny oh, oops i just I just broke something really far away. I, I have a really long reach uh, at this point, which that's... I'm going to have to replace those those leaves. Sorry, Jancy. Which, speaking of which, uh, Jancy did a wonderful job here. Um, I mean, there's still some chests and stuff that we've got sitting around with some important astral sorcery items in them, but there's a fantastic little house here with a little, uh, like, elevator on the top. Um, we've got this fully chiseled house uh, with... Everything you, th you think, all right, well, I, I just use the door. It's not a standard door. It's a chiseled door. But uh, it's it's going to work just the same. There's an elevator here. You can shift-click and get inside. <laughs> and then we've got our, like, little uh, uh, shell areas and so on. Uh, I do also have an angel ring, of course, which I uh, flew around with and, and got not long ago. But this is one way of getting back and forth. We now have a teleportation setup back here as well, which will lead us back and uh, to our original nether base, should we need to do that, which we still do on occasion, because right now, all of our stuff is there. And of course, Ector left a little surprise here as a reminder of the nether, and that, that's our little our little ghast friend here. He's, he's harmless and sleeping all the time, but <laughs> we do have him haunting the spawn area right now. Uh, but it, I just can't get over how, how lovely this area, this like little setup here looks. I mean, Jancy did a really cool job. Look at this little pixel flowers, flower beds, little pixeled lantern. It, it's, it's really good. It's really good. Um, and of course there's like a little bit of, of like work in progress bits and pieces staggered around, but it's just, look, it looks really nice. Um, thinking that we might, you know, kind of expand out on this stuff, uh, might go further, might actually go elsewhere with it uh, and leave this as like a central hub for our teleportating, teleportating, whatever you want to say that word is. But I have um, worked with uh, Ector and Pixel. We picked, uh, I've got on the radar here, you can see that I've done like a, a fair bit of world exploring, um, going around and grabbing a bunch of just materials for, uh, what is it, the crystal, crystal cold desert, ice desert, crystal glacier, I think is the one that it is. Uh, we're going to do that one. Yeah, there it is. Um, there's a biome, which, yeah, if we fly around, there's a lot of just interesting stuff around. A lot of mobs, including passive ones, may be those special purple flame ones that can drop um, heart containers, which can be very good. Oh man, my frames are dropping with all this flame spread. Uh, we're just going to get out of here. You can see that I'm coming up on, uh, well, what I labeled as Crystal Glacier. Uh, I did a bunch of searching. Yes, there's like a, a, a astral sorcery tower over there, and there there have been several. But we kind of figured this one, this one just seemed rather appropriate. Let me take the uh, the marker off here. Turn that off, and you guys can see that. Yeah, it's it's at the base of this giant mountain and a glacier biome. It just looks really cool. So I figured that uh, we'd work together and develop this, start our astral sorcery ascent here. No, I'll, I'll follow like the sheep I am. <laughs> <laughs> like the mechanical sheep I am. I still think that makes it a bit like Buzz Lightyear. That's all I'm going to say. I just think that's... <laughs> All right, so here we are at an astral sorcery major altar, and it, oh, it's almost nighttime as well. Of course, I, it is. I, I it's think. always nighttime in Minecraft. It is. Yes. Oh, Blood oh, Moon no. is rising. How appropriate! Oh. Is it? But oh. we should be somewhat safer than usual because we've got the <laughs> we've got, we've the got a bunch of mega torches around our setup. Hopefully, that it will help prevent um, our demise. But um, we're, we're gonna have to start digging 
guys. Yes. Get down. <laughs> get down here. Dig for some... victory. Get away. What is my? I'm not able to vein mine the snow for some reason. There we go. All right. There so... you go. That's <laughs> that's the stuff. And then we dig towards you. Vein mines nicely. All right. And do I have any to <laughs> earth wax clumps? This stuff is weird. <laughs> Oops. Just doesn't, doesn't sound attractive at all, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Do I have any wax clumps? <laughs> <laughs> You so, e eagle-eyed viewers will there we go. Put down a little bit. Eagle-eyed viewers will notice that we've actually upped our levels to the point where we can even move marble to begin with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is a high level requirement to access a lot of this stuff. I had to be level thirty something magic before it had let me touch the stuff. So uh, there you go. Ah. <laughs> I just just got shot by an arrow that was stuck in a wall. Yeah, sorry about that. I clicked on That's the right. clicked on it earlier, and well, bad things. <laughs> the chest in here contains two glowstone dust and two gold ingots. That's excellent. That's exactly Precious. what we're going to need to complete this entire mod. Precious resources, right there. <laughs> oh, oh, two more glowstone dust, two diamonds, two bones, and four iron. Well. Uh... <laughs> That, that is that is vital. That is all absolutely vital. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. All right. Have so you got any torches, Valen? Yeah, I've got like three left here. Well, let me put down Just a few inside. Yeah, brighten up the place a little bit. Yeah, that blood moon isn't really helping much, is it? There we go. I did bring a couple of those um, feral flare lanterns as well. So oh, that's beautiful. Throw down one of those, and we'll get some nice even lighting around the place. Cool. Uh, so yeah, oh nice, um, nice place. I can, I can see incoming mobs from uh -oh. the old blood moon. <laughs> oh boy, we, we, this may may have been bad timing as it is. This guy has 116 health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, <laughs> every, everything's coming. Everything's coming behind you, Valor. <laughs> behind you. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, oh, Pixel, I have. Some more heart containers for you. Hey. Uh, there you go. Thank you kindly. That takes me up to 20 in total. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Valentine for you. Bit late, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Better late than never, Valor. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you. I'm glad you care. <laughs> All right. So now that we've finally opened this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ignore, ignore the giant hole in the ground. That's. Yeah. Uh, I like the fact that the little villager merchant guy is investigating this as well. He's like, oh, this wasn't here yesterday. Val Valen, Valen, you've, you've got something in your face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, about three arrows. <laughs> <laughs> is that all? <laughs> I think most of them have despawned now. Mm, I, I think I missed those when I shaved this morning. Yes. <laughs> yes. Those, those, those three hairs you just can't get. <laughs> All right, so step one for astral sorcery is to, of course, you should start with an astral tome. If you haven't, mm -hmm. you, you're kind of stuck, but you can make one. There's a crafting recipe, and it says luminous crafting table, but you can always craft one on a regular crafting table that's being highlighted by, uh, like, one of these crystals, which actually I don't think, I think that's still a little bit too far for it. It might be blocked by that piece of marble. Let me pick this back up and put it up here. There we go. You see the little oh, okay. ray of light oh, going yeah. onto it. That makes oh. this kind of I'll like... I'll be providing uh... the sound effect for this video, by the way. <laughs> oh. I'm a fan of that. Oh, we've got a traveling merchant here. Uh, <laughs> He's yeah. like, hello, I've come to learn the ways of astral sorcery. <laughs> think, think of him as the audience. Address him when you need to explain yeah. anything. Because, of course, me, me and Ector know everything about this mod, right? Toast. Toast, man. Right. All hands. This is why you're letting me try and, and muddle my way through it, because I've never done this before. <laughs> what am I doing, Valor? <laughs> yeah. All right, so, so with this in place, uh, you should be able to at least make yourself an astral tome, which then you'll want to, uh, you know, search through all your different uh, astral sorcery altars, grabbing, like, chests and constellation papers and stuff. And you're going to want to keep those and press shift-click, and you can store them in your book. But for now, you just open your book and you've got one chapter called Discovery. Um, oh. 
and you've a got a very pretty star map as well. It is, and you have two ways of actually accessing this. I'm going to tell you guys the cheaty method first. Oh yeah. And that is, you just double click on it. Ah, <laughs> it's opened. The yeah. way is clear. The the alternate method is to use your mouse wheel, and it kind of zooms in very slowly. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Completely pointless, but pretty cool. Right, right. And, and actually, that's what most people end up learning is the scroll wheel first. And then, yeah. they, <laughs> and then they're like, man, I'm so tired of scrolling into this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, you've got two tabs on the top right there, Knowledge and Constellations. Yeah. Constellations, you should have five of them unlocked at this point because we've found several of the Constellation papers. Mm-hmm. Looks and about right, yep. Those are the five base constellations. There are more than that, but those are the uh, the main ones that you can do all sorts of stuff with. It's almost nighttime as well. Uh, so, with discovery being at hand, uh, the first thing you want to make is a resonating wand, which requires an ender pearl, two aquamarine, and some marble. Might either of you have access to those ingredients? Uh, I've definitely got some marble. All I right. don't think I have an ender pearl or any aquamarine on me, and I didn't bring my storage terminal because I have no idea like whether or not that <laughs> stuff worked in the overworld. Well, we only have twenty-one thousand ender pearls in the system, so I'm going to steal one. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you sure? Are you sure we can spare that? <laughs> I've got a couple of aquamarines on me as well. Ah, uh, that would be uh, very handy if you can spare them. All right, so. Um... Here you go. I'm going to give these to you, Pixel, mm -hmm. and an Ender Pearl. And uh, you said you had some marble already. I do have some marble already. So, did you see the uh, entry in your astral tome for resonating wand? I did, and I can make one. I thankfully have enough magic that I can actually use it. <laughs> okay. So uh, <laughs> you may actually be able to start this after all. And it's probably good if we each have one. So let's get a couple more ender pearls here. And I have to say, the, the addition of like fairy wings and like a crazy looking suit of armor plus this this wand is making me feel very magical right now. Oh, I've got one. I've got one. <laughs> I do feel like we're suddenly at a tea party or something. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in Ector's hands right now, it looks more like a sonic screwdriver or something. You know, it looks more, a, a little bit more space age when it's combined with the full uh, astromech kind of suit. It's true. It's true. It, it, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, you do, Pixel, you do look more like a fairy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Without the armor, I imagine it kind of completes the image. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I kind of look like an angry, uh, an angry fairy with some kind of red shield at my side. But uh, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> so the resonating wand is basically going to allow you to um, make or finish any recipe that's on a starlit table. Uh, of any kind. So any of the recipes that require starlight, you're going to need to right click with it on the table to complete it in the future when it's a star lit table. This mm -hmm. one is the exception because it's just a regular crafting table. So our next thing is going to be to probably make a crafting table. Uh, let's go back into the book here. And we've got different ores that we can look for as well. Um, this actually, it's nighttime, so this is perfect. If you hold your resonating wand, you come out here and fly a little bit. Oh, actually, there's there's some glowy particles right here. If you hold it in your hand and you look, oh, yeah, you should yeah. see some white glowy particles somewhere nearby me. Oh. Yep. That means somewhere down by bedrock, usually around Y level 5-ish, um, we should have uh, some... I don't, I don't see the mobs. Oh, there they are. Uh, there should be uh, some... Uh, rock crystals, which are pretty uh, important and necessary for us to actually progress. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but I don't know that we need them on our first full ray to get go. okay to get a luminous crafting table. No, it does not appear that we need them immediately. <laughs> but but later, so, right? Uh, uh, very very shortly actually. But we might as well make our luminous crafting table. Um, mm -hmm. which is, you know, down there on the bottom right. We just need some marble, a crafting table, and some sooty marble. Yeah. Which sooty marble can be made on a regular crafting grid as well, if I'm not mistaken. Oops, I keep putting the wrong thing. It... Oh, <laughs> oh. But you... 
You Got guys flanked. make that and I will attempt to defend our temple for these invaders. <laughs> okay. I will I will grab some uh let's see, uh coal. Yeah. Yeah, we've got some coal. And some marble. Uh, marble. <laughs> there's, there's a zombie in here who's just chasing the traveling merchant around. <laughs> I'm alright with that. It keeps him off of us, really. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But it, did true. we say that the traveling merchant represents the audience? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to have the zombies kill the audience. That's... No, no, no. He, he's perfectly fine. He's just being entertained. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> he's got more health than most. <laughs> are, you, are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I've got some city marble, um, and wait. Here, I'll I'll give you a few as well. Do you have some? Thank you. I, I, yeah, I've got some. I've got some behind you. Behind oh. you. Oh, he's not interested in me. <laughs> 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 wow, oh my word! Three. What is that sword? Yeah, they, they've changed the texture to the um, this sword. Uh, it's just a tinker sword. I do like the fact that the uh, the zombie just looks like he wants a hug from you because you don't take any damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's All right. superb. So you should so. be able to just take some uh, marble. And a crafting table, which actually I just realized I don't. I need to make a crafting table. Uh, yeah, I needed to make one as well. I just got some wood out of my. Yep. Uh, my I, I got this. Things. There you go. I got this. Bam. Oh, you got one. All right. Sorry, I didn't know if you needed the ingredients with your uh, absence of a storage tablet. You put it in there. You make up your luminous crafting table, and then you learn more about exploration. Aha, there it is. Luminous crafting table. Nice. And I did learn more about exploit. How does he know all of these things? He's so clever. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he is. He's the man that knows. That there is a skeleton coming our way. Yeah. And with the plan. So so we've already got one set down in here, but should I put mine anywhere or is it just... Well, he... Is it one crafting table per person? Here's the cheaty thing I'm going to share with you guys. That um, a lot of people know that Astral Sorcery, it, the higher up you go, the more Starlight you're going to get up to Y level 120. But you don't necessarily have to do that. You, well, there's a zombie just spawned in behind us there. What the heck? Get out of here, dude. Leave, leave our audience alone. He's, he's attacking the audience. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, the audience is now drowning as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Oh, man. This is, this is bad. This is bad. There we go. <laughs> I, 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 saved, I saved the audience by <laughs> placing my crafting table in the wall. <laughs> is, is it still going to get starlight there? I presume not. No, no, not not so much. <laughs> You're Typic welcome, typically, welcome. starlight doesn't reach things that are embedded in walls. Good to know. <laughs> right. So the the trick to it is really to get access to one of these floating crystals that you see here. A very mm -hmm. Final Fantasy esque, which is very appropriate to you right now, Pixel. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, so I'm going to put down a little bit of marble, uh, just so that we've got a little something to set it on. Put this down, and I think, yep, it's going to reach it. Now the thing is, you see it's got two light shafts going right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's actually splitting the amount of starlight. Okay. So instead of 100% of starlight on one table, you're going to get 50% on two. So that's something to keep in mind. When you have multiple things going, you're going to get less starlight. But it's it's exposed to the sky. It's got access to that crystal. So if you click on it, it's half full right now, though daylight is actively coming up, and you can see it dropping the uh, starlight. Uh -huh. yeah. So this is going to be useful to a point, and this is something that you have to use a resonating wand on to complete any recipes. So you put your recipe in there, and then you right-click with your resonating wand if you use it for a recipe. Mm -hmm. Now, if we go into exploration, in order to progress to the next chapter, we'll need a few things. Uh, light wells. Oh, hello, zombie. Hi. A berserk ghastly <laughs> zombie of smashing. It's a rare smashing zombie OMFG fireballs. Actually, me. I'm just going to let him kill himself on me. He does more damage to himself by attacking me than me attacking him. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what has this game become at this point? I have no idea. Yeah. We're cheating everywhere. Uh, I find that. Uh, but anyway, uh, oh yeah, uh, here. I heart you, Pixel. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need uh, some light wells, a looking glass, oh, yeah, yeah. 
and uh, what is it? Where, where is it? There it is. And some rock crystals. So I think that's three tasks that we can potentially split up and uh, try and accomplish. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh. <laughs> let me just. <laughs> it never ends. I thought it was daytime. It's about to be. He's burning. So the looking glass is probably one of the simpler ones. Aww. Oh, you're making one right now. All right, cool, cool. You're going to want to make several of those oh. if you can. That was a glass lens. I know. We'll be needing those. Okay. Um, the light, many... well, is going to need a rock lenses? crystal. What's that? How many glass lenses do we need? Uh, probably a good thing to start with, at least four. Okay. Uh, I'm going to swipe at something on your back. You've got something okay. on your back there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> there you go. That, that's... Thank you. Yeah, anytime. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you get a monkey on your back there. Um, so it's daytime, sadly, and we won't be able to find rock crystals uh, during the daytime. At least not easily. You cannot use a quarrying mechanism to harvest them either. Uh, and I don't know if I actually already dug any up or not. And I've got a bunch I like of... the fact I said I was going to make the sound effect, and now it's just making them for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's good I, like that. I underestimated how good this mod is. <laughs> the, the trick is now to harmonize. Me, 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 me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So Let's... if we can't get the rock crystals during the day, is there anything else we can do in the meantime? Uh, there is, um, and that is, hold on a second, I need to see, first of all, did I actually happen to have any? No, I don't. All right. Because I thought that I had have received some at some point, but I did not. At least I don't think I did. Let me check my other pouch. I have several pouches to check. <laughs> all right, I don't have it. Okay. But in that case... Uh, Making a light well is probably the most important thing because it's going to slowly make us starlight. So on our next night foray, we're going to have to like all split up and go for rock crystals as quickly as possible. Okay. I find the best way to do that is to mark them on your journey map and then just burrow down. But with how OP our tools and abilities are, we probably can just fly and dig straight down faster than Seems we can mark them. Seems likely, yeah. Should we also go and grab some more marble? I know you probably got some in um, the uh, in the system somewhere, but it does need marble for a lot of these crafting recipes. I've got well over a thousand marble in the system at the moment, so we should be all right. But we can make spectral relays, thanks to Ector's uh, lens appropriation, which uh -huh. will help us to get a bit more starlight during the daytime as well. Oh, okay. So how many lenses do you have currently? I have four. You said four, I did four. All right. <laughs> so I would like for you to make a spectral relay, which is like a little tiny thing. It actually acts like a torch and a displayer of things. You can place things on it and it'll just kind of rotate on it. Uh, spectral, ah, yes. Uh, so gold, that and that. And, and of course it needs, it needs a, bit of, a bit of that as well. Okay. So. Right. And while he's doing that, hey, Pixel. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's got four glass lenses in there right now. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that it was a shared that. Uh, oh, that's right. The, these act like um, like a tinker's table. They hold their inventories. I forgot about that. Ah. Uh -huh. um, a looking glass, or it looks like a telescope, is very handy, but it's very difficult to use, per se. You'll only ever see, like, maybe one constellation out in a night uh, it's when we you do up... not have enough uh, starlight oh that's that's sad that's very sad <laughs> uh what we can do perhaps to enhance this more is sadly dig an opening above the floating crystal if it is exposed <laughs> to the sky it's uh, better off oh, okay Oh, there's, uh, there's water up there, which I was not <laughs> expecting. <laughs> I, will, I will handle the water. One second here. There we go. Water has been handled. 
and let's see right in the middle now that crystal is not going to move uh, or at least it shouldn't <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't oh, seem to oh, think yeah. I can wow. point it with the pickaxe. And this that, is where the filled up the table completely now. Yeah, this is the secret and why you don't need to go up to Y level one twenty. Uh... You just give your crystal some some skylight and pow, got all the all the starlight that you'll need for quite some time. Nice. Yeah. So now so if you, I've got I've got the relay. So put the relay down somewhere close by, to the table. Like, like that. That works. And then put one of those... Do you have another lens? Uh, I know. I used them all to make the relays. Okay. So go ahead and put down the other relay as well. And then make uh, two more lenses, please. Okay. Uh, let's just put all those down there. Oh, oh! I didn't realize you had four of them. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, 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 thought, I thought I was meant to make all of them. Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, it do doesn't really matter. They're, they're going to be very, very useful later on. We're going to need, like, a dozen of them or so in the future. But... Okay. And you can make them in, like, make things in stacks by piling them up in here and then just right-clicking with your resonating wand. And it should, in most cases, make, like, a bunch of them at once. It's kind of nice not being attacked. You look like a warrior of light over there, Pixel. <laughs> I'm trying to take trying to take a decent <laughs> thumbnail screenshot with this crystal in the foreground and you guys in the background. It's pretty great. <laughs> anyway, continue. Sorry. Oh, Sorry that's to right. inter interrupt. No, no, no. All right, so <laughs> place down or uh, right click with the lens on the spectral relay. And if it's within range of uh, an appropriate luminous crafting table it, and access to the sky, it should actually give sparkles and stuff and and work in a specific manner. Uh, actually, I think there's a certain setup we'll need to do here. Let's see, back up from the looking glass. Yeah, on the spectral relay, if you click to the second page... Uh, second page? <laughs> yes, if, if you are in exploration. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you click on the spectral relay at the top. Uh, yeah. And then you click on the second page, you'll see that there's a little structure Yep. And this is where the chisel mod really helps <laughs> to make <laughs> things happen. Um, marble. In fact, uh, do you have much marble uh, pixel? Because I can give you a bunch. And a... I don't have any marble. Here's some marble. Here's a little bit of sooty marble. A bit of coal, a little bit more marble. And I will get you a chisel. That's a chiseled bit. I want a chisel. Let's see if I can actually make one here. I wonder if there's a certain level requirement to use one of these things. All right, there's one for you and Hector. I don't know if you have one or not, but here's one. It's right behind you there, right there. And you can take your marble and make the type that you want much easier than crafting it in a crafting grid or a crafting table or luminous crafting table. You can actually just use your chisel, put your marble in there, and make the type of marble that you want to make. Nice. And it'll save you a lot of time and effort of crafting different designs and trying to remember what it is to do that. Because you need ruined marble for some of these recipes. Exactly. Like yeah. From row here where it's all astral sorcery. Nice. Okay. That's handy. So this one, if if you see the little structure that the spectral relay is sitting on, it's like a little three by three area, mm -hmm. and there's a little star on the top right of that page. Yeah. Hover over the star with your mouse pointer, and you'll see all the ingredients. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. And you can actually grab the picture and rotate that around as well, and you can see everything. You know, with your mouse pointer, you can actually rotate it and see how everything is placed if you don't get a very clear image. So if you build that little structure, put an astral uh, relay on it with a, a lens, then it should enhance any kind of nearby star, like crafting table, further if it needs it. Oh, I hear the chiseling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you just throw this marine down? <laughs> <Did> you... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, that was me. My bad. My bad. Oh. After, I was like, I wasn't expecting the prismary. <laughs> ah, so yeah, there you go. 
thing. So you can see I the particles. Me. It's working. And what does it do as well? It just more starlight. More is starlight. That... So th this is what okay. a lot of people will go with if they don't have access to like a floating crystal. But the, here's the advantage with using these things is that you can share the multi-block structure. So like if I were to actually, I, I need a regular shovel for this stuff here. Let's, mm -hmm. um, I could actually just do, what is it? Instead of building an oh, entire three by three over here, I just, that on there. perfect. Yes, you got it. Uh, okay. And then you can stack them together. Now, if it doesn't have line of sight or it's further than, I don't know, maybe 16 ish blocks or so away. Oh, wow. Can't, I can't get that block. There you go. Um, then, uh, it won't, uh, it, it won't work. It, it does have to have some kind of line of sight. Oh, it's night time. Yes, I was going to say we should probably go and uh, yes. look for some, some crystals. Indeed. Oh, yeah, yeah. So resonating ones out. Look for the glowing white area and around Y level five, we should find some stuff. Uh-huh. So uh, I think we'll be back after we've discovered some crystals here.